Primarily, Dobermans are the only breed that was specifically designed to protect people, or more accurately, their owners. As a result, they are well known for their intelligent, loyal, protective, and loving nature. However, this defensive instinct leads us to one crucial question. Are Dobermans good with children? Let me introduce myself. My name is Amy Arthur. I breed, train, and sell purebred Doberman Pinscher puppies for service or protection work and as excellent quality family pets. Our dogs are personality tested and certified under Tackleberry Solutions and recommended for specific tasks depending upon their individual score results. So here are some bite statistics. I'm going to leave the link for the resource in it down below in the description. But about 4.5 million people are bitten by dogs each year, most of them children. In a 2002 California case, a woman and her husband were tried for second-degree murder after their dogs attacked and killed a neighbor. The woman was convicted of second-degree murder and her husband was convicted of involuntary manslaughter. In some states, including California, dog bites fall under strict liability. Injured victims in such states can pursue dog bite claims regardless of the dog's viciousness or prior history of dog attacks. So here is a list of the most dangerous dogs from the Enline Law Firm published. They published this article on the top biting dog breeds. Their findings below are as follows. And this is not necessarily listed in order relevant to aggression level. So those that are upset because I've mentioned your breed of choice, do not be offended by the order. This is just um, findings from... Um, an outside source. So this isn't something that I came up with, okay? So pit bulls, Rottweilers, Siberian Huskies, pit bull terriers, German Shepherds, Chihuahuas, Border Collies, Jack Russell Terriers, Cocker Spaniels, Tosa Inus, I don't, I don't know if I said that right, and Chow Chows. Incidentally, note that the Doberman did not make their list. So furthermore, take a look at the image below, which features a list of dog breeds most often found to bite their owners. Again, notice that the Doberman records are much lower than several other well-known breeds. So indeed, you might be wondering why I've listed all of these statistics before answering the original question of, are Dobermans good with children? In short, I wanted to establish my standpoint from other sources to help emphasize my point. Alternatively, if I had just shared my opinion about the breed, this would have not have done justice to their truly loving and loyal nature. To expound, concerned for my family, we first decided to go with the Doberman because it literally was the only breed that matched exactly what I was looking for in a protection dog. Firstly, they were smart, protective, had short fur so the grooming would be easier, they didn't drool, and had the size and look of what I was seeking. However, I quickly found out why the Doberman was so protective over their family. Indeed, the love that they had for the safety of their pack was on a level I had never seen before. Critically, whether a Doberman is good with children depends entirely upon their upbringing and their handler. Accordingly, if they are treated with respect and taught with love to respect the authority of their handler, they are likely to suck you into the world of Doberman lovers, just like they did to me. With this in mind, let me quickly share some advice on how to ensure that your Doberman is good with children. This also works with defenseless animals such as chickens or cats. First, keep in mind that puppies start out treating everyone around them, human and canine alike, as equals. As a result, they will play and challenge each other with wrestling as their instincts direct them to practice. To expound, think of a lion cub. Their play with their siblings is an instinctual directive to prepare them for their own defense and the protection of their pride as an adult. Likewise, Doberman puppies start out life with the same desire to roughhouse and, as a result, establish their own pecking order amongst themselves. Which means that, unless taught otherwise, your child is fair game for play to challenge as an equal. 
Critically, this may seem cute at first, but it is important to teach the puppy or dog, whatever their age they are, that a child or small animal is not their equal. In short, you can do this by closely supervising your do Doberman's behavior with the child or small animal. The second that they initiate play as an equal, you step in and gently but firmly scold. Consequently, this teaches the Doberman that the child belongs to Alpha and therefore must be treated the same as Alpha. As a result, they will want to love on and play with the child, but it will be done in a manner more respectful and act as a preventative for aggression behavior towards that child. Notably, since the Doberman is such an intelligent breed, I've successfully had young puppies learn to respect my children within a number of small corrections. And the biggest thing that you're going to have is a telltale that they are treating your child or small animal as an equal is when they jump up or paw at or basically try to initiate in any form of roughhousing or mouthing. That's them treating them as an equal and therefore they are on the same level of the same ability to um, establish their own pecking order. So you don't want your child to be in that ring of having to stand up for itself. That dog needs to automatically know that the child belongs to Alpha and therefore should never be challenged. Side note, consistency is key. Do not leave your child's side when they interact with your Doberman until it is clear that they are to treat your child with respect. Likewise, corrections must be done on the spot. If your Doberman will not be able to understand what they are being corrected for if you don't. Consequently, if you are not standing right there, you will not be there in time for them to associate, associate your message with their actions and it will only serve as a source of anxiety for them. With this in mind, if you really want to ensure that your Doberman is good with children, do not allow the child to torment or abuse your dog. Critically, if you are going to teach your canine that the child belongs to Alpha, your child must learn to conduct themselves so. To expound, Alphas are not bullies. They are the leader. It is their job to take care of the pack, not to torment or push the boundaries of their subject's patience. Which leads me to share a common saying, there are no bad dogs, only bad owners. In summary, you are responsible for your Doberman's behavior. Unless your canine is suffering from a neurological ailment, they are not going to just bite without cause. This especially applies to Dobermans. All that being said, I want to ask if you think that there is something I missed, please share your thoughts in a comment for other listeners. Also, this was this video is an opinion piece only and not to be taken as fact, legal, or medical advice. Your results are in no way guaranteed and will depend on several factors to including your willingness to plan ahead and study and train. If you are looking for a purebred Doberman Pinscher, I encourage you to talk to us, to contact us, so that we can better help pair you with the perfect match. Our email address is prepare at tackleberrysolutions.com. If you have any value, if you find any value in this video, I encourage you to subscribe and share so that our message can be reached to more that would like to know about Dobermans. Thank you for watching.